We're Root Road, and we approve this message. The name Root Road is the actual street that Nathaniel and I grew up on as uh, kids, and it's a reminder to us to not forget where we came from. So when we were growing up, um, our older brothers were in a, a rock and roll band uh, called Seraph, and uh, it had like this gnarly looking like angel that had the six wings on it, and uh, that was their kind of their logo. Um, but anyway, yeah, they were cool, you know? And, and I wanted to be a part of the practice, but I was too young and uh, I would only get in the way. So you know how it is for like younger siblings. But what I would do is I would just put my ear up against the door where the basement was at and just listen to them practice. So that was kind of like, oh, man, I want to be able to do music. I want to be part of the group. That's where that came from, you know, for us. And then our dad um, was a traveling musician in the 70s in a group called Hot Cargo. And uh, man, it was a very 70s looking group. He had like an afro and they had orange jumpsuits, all of them did. And uh, it was pretty special, you know. Nice. But uh, he'd do music like the Beatles and Motown type stuff and, and all that stuff translated and trickled down into our influences for, for music. So, uh, yeah. Another thing that we were brought up on was a lot of CCM from the 80s and 90s. Mm. Um, that was a mainstay and staple in our home. You know, listening to groups like Petra or artists like Phil Keggy. Um, very, very, very formative stuff for us as far as helping the Root Road sound to become what it is today. Well, Root Road kind of got started uh, when John, me, and my brother Anthony, we all went to the same school at one time. And uh, we didn't really fit in the best, so we only had each other to hang out with. Most of the other time we thought we were each other, we, we thought we were knuckleheads, you know. Uh, John would always punch me really hard, and, uh, and I, I thought I was always mad at him about that. But then... I obviously can't do that anymore. He's so much bigger than me now. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but yeah, we, we just kind of got along, and we all had, you know, music and, and abilities to be able to sing and play instruments and stuff, so we're just like, yeah, let's just uh, let's do something. Let's make something happen. Let's make music. And that's kind of how we got started. That's how we officially got started. Um, one thing is, is we, growing up in a musical family, we were always involved with community events and things at our local church. And so, you know, back then we didn't even have a stage name, we were just the Gilks family. But uh, that definitely helped set the stage for when we were ready to start performing exclusively together under a name. Well, uh, I'm a family man. I, I've been married for going on 14 years here pretty soon, and uh, I have a little boy, and he's just a ton of fun, and um, I really, really enjoy just being able to watch him grow, you know, and see all the, the great things that, that God is doing in him at just such a little young age, you know. Um, I also really enjoy playing guitar, and um, I'm a little bit of a gearhead. Uh, I do like to, you know, study equipment find out what it does and, you know, always tweaking our sound and whatnot and what it is that we do. So, uh, I also like, uh, really bad sci-fi movies. Um, yeah. they, they bring me a, a certain type of joy that just, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's outrageous, but, uh, <laughs> I do enjoy that. What's that, the video? Plan 9 from Outer Space. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Don't ever watch that movie, it's <laughs> awful. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of, of cheesy, cheesy side by movies. Definitely enjoy that. I love food a lot. Like, I'm, I'm a foodie, I guess. I love different flavors and, you know, just 
It's good stuff. So that's that's part of what, what, what I like. Um, I also am a little bit of a nerd. Sometimes I'll play video games for a little while. But uh, okay, so that's that's one side of me. The other side is the side that really loves to dig into music. I like to hear something, things that are different, and um, anything from jazz to classical music to Led Zeppelin to um, just anything recent that's coming out. Like, I, I don't know, I just, I'm always kind of looking for things to inspire me with music. So I try to find different stuff whenever I can. Well, we are Christian and uh, we write Christ-centered music. Um, it's our desire to promote the power of God's love and the importance of community. And also how God's helped us to overcome obstacles in our lives and has brought joy to us. And, um, so that we want to have that come out in the music. There is one scripture that I feel like changed the course of my life. And it's Psalms 37, 4. Take delight in the Lord and he will give you your heart's desires. Um, what this means to me is uh, basically sometimes it's hard to tell what you really want to do or what you should do in life and if your ambition's right or if your goal is right in life. But if you do it to where God places the desires in your heart, that's what I believe this says. Not that he'll give you whatever you want, but that he'll give you the desires that are in your heart, give you the right things to want to, 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 to desire. Um, and that really helped me out with just kind of gauging, you know, what I should do with my life and what I should do with, with my time and my vision. And, um, and I believe that I'm just trying to seek what God wants for me to do. And I think that's the best thing to do. So um, I think it's a really important scripture to me. So I've got a couple. Um, the first one is actually from Henry Ford, and it says, when everything seems to be going against you, remember that the airplane takes off against the wind. Um, and to kind of pick, or dovetail into that particular quote, um, there's a scripture from John 16, 33, and it says, I've told you all this so that you may have peace in me. Here on earth you have many trials and sorrows, but take heart, I have overcome the world. You know, at this point, you know, in, in my life and just in general, it seems like there's a lot of just friction and, and resistance uh, in moving forward in what it is that, that we've been called to do. And it's really inspiring to know that Despite our challenges, you know, God is with us. And matter of fact, Christ even promises that we will have many trials. But he says, I have overcome the world. <laughs> and uh, the scriptures also say that we will do greater things than he did when we were on the earth. And I just, I carry that with me whenever I experience any sort of challenges that just seem to be overpowering. And just remember that, that God is with me. And he's with all of us as his children. He's given us the power to overcome the world. So anytime we experience any challenges or things that seem like they get in the way, just remember it's not you. It's, it's just part of the human experience. But God has put that there, one, to build your faith and to help you just be better at what it is that you do. All right, so we're going to end this video with a song on accordion just because we can. Here we go. Goodbye, goodbye to Rome. City of a million moonlit faces, city of a million warm embraces. I found the one of all the places far from home.
It's over. Oh. Yeah, it's okay. Okay. You did fine. Okay, good job.